a big impact for small public investment. The push tonight from local community members speaking out for Billings Public Schools. Well, today proponents for a school district two high school mill levy kicked off their campaign to convince the community that Billings students need a yes vote so they can compete with the rest of the state and country. Well, next month, school district two will ask Billings voters to pass a high school mill levy for the first time in 12 years. Nearly $1 million operational levy will be on the ballot for mail-in election on May 8th. Now, the levy dollars would update textbooks and tools for learning and help with career counselors who help students develop career and college pathways. Now, if passed, the levy would increase property taxes $10 on a $200,000 home. Now, supporters behind the mill levy say it is time. Q2's David Jay joins us now with more from today's rally. David. Well, Janelle, uh, students along with teaching and business professionals came together to talk about the future of education. Close to 70 came out this afternoon, and if passed, the mill levy would pay for books, curriculum, materials, and licensing. The group talked about changes that have made uh, for different challenges for students today, and this time students are part of the effort to get the mill levy passed. We are not preparing kids well enough to enter the workforce, and we're not preparing kids well enough to enter college. I think that School District 2 does generally a very good job, but I think that we can be doing a better job. This isn't just a levy we're after. We're after a paradigm shift. The need in society for uh, to replace the workers and employees that, that, are, that is currently happening, um, we have an opportunity for our students to introduce careers to them like we've never had before. This group is energized. I'm really impressed with the student leadership making a very strong value proposition that we need to be a community that gives the students the best opportunity to succeed, and I feel like we're off to a good start. And students are holding a rally at next Wednesday at 4 on the Yellowstone County Courthouse lawn. Janelle? All right. Thanks so much, David.